kind of gets there as to the point of what may have happened what so many possibilities so I had met a person over an Xbox his name was Matthew um, he was a pretty cool guy um, we had some things in common found out he uh, was also in found out, you know, we had, uh, exchanged social medias, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, you know, basically the, the basics, um, so, where it starts to get creepy is, uh, later on in the story, when I first met him, it was, casual conversations, you know, sending me Snapchats or something that a fan would send him, me congratulating him, and I'll get to the point of where it gets creepy soon enough, but it just is nuts as to what possibly could have happened to me, my brain keeps replaying it. basically all I probably knew about the guy besides him doing things such as, you know, Twitch and YouTube. So, he's been watching my Snapchat because he found out that, uh, he, he seemed that I've gone to parties and, you know, maybe he was very interested in showing up. And at first, I was a little skeptical. where it kind of gets weird. So the upcoming party, I invite him. And, you know, I send him a Snapchat saying, hey, you still want to come to that party? Snapchat following comes in. He replies, yeah. I said, we're having a party today. You can go ahead and show up. How far are you away from my, my school? He said, 30 minutes away. I said, okay. Bet. And then I left it at that. I told my friend about it, and everybody else knew he was coming, so that there wouldn't be any problems for him to get into the party. Um, I also asked if he could bring two bottles, because it was a party, and you know, people would be drinking and smoking. So, after that, he said, yeah, he can show, he can bring the bottles, and, you know, it was a guarantee that he was going to show up. So, later on, it gets close to the time I haven't heard from him, so I message him, hey man, are you still coming to the party? He opens my snap, and no reply. Now this was a little weird, and I kept wondering, why is he not answering? What's going on? I sent him another message, hey, are you sure you're coming, man? I need to know so I can get you on camp. He opens it. No reply. Now, I tell my friend about this. He goes, I swear if that man's flaky. Come on, man. We told everybody about it. It's crazy if he does not show up. Now, we're a little bit disappointed. And I don't know if he flaked or not, but it's still creepy to me to think about if he was there or if he wasn't there. Now, I sent him another message. 
Hey, man, my boys then told all the girls that uh, we were bringing two bottles, and they were really psyched about it. Are you still coming? Are you sure? He finally replies back saying, yeah. I said, okay, um, can you be here by 10 so that uh, we can get you in the camp? He replies again, yeah. I said, all right, cool. Uh, I sent him another message. And he's replying all the time, saying, what location? <laughs> like, where's the location at? I send him the address of the campus. He says, okay, I'll see you at 10. So now, you know, I've gotten back, came back from the store from buying a bottle and everything else because, you know, we couldn't wait on him. And I messaged him saying, hey, man, are you still coming? How far are you out? He replies back. 15 minutes away. I said, okay, cool. I messaged him 10 minutes later. Hey, where are you at now? Just checking. <laughs> he says, I'm three minutes out. I say, okay. I go outside with my friend and we call him to try to guide him into the school. I told him, hey, don't come into the university because you won't be able to get in because it's no more visiting hours. So that you need to come near the commons so that I can get you in. He said, okay, where is that at? I guide him to come back and he says he's pulling in. I should see him in a white Mustang. Now this is where things get creepy. So my friend and I were looking for a white Mustang this whole time. Now I don't know if it was a white Mustang or not. That was just a decoy to basically, you know, get me looking for a white Mustang as he drives up on me and kind of, you know, look out the area. Now, he didn't know, though, I think he thought I would be alone, which, you know, I wasn't because I had never met this person before. But I couldn't tell my friends that because they'd be like, why are you inviting a stranger that we don't? But hey, you know, I figured everybody would deserve a chance. Stupid me. Hmm. So it's still creepy to think about what would have happened. But he never pulled up. Like I said, he never did. But then when I went to message him again, I noticed something different. The name was changed. It did not say his normal name almost if I've been deleted or blocked. I messaged him. Again, hey man, where you at? No reply, no opening message. I message him again. Hey, where you at? Still, no reply. He didn't answer. My friend took my phone. Yo! still didn't answer, he still didn't even open the message. It's so weird, like, we, what happened? <laughs> and after that, we were just so upset that day, you know, we figured he really did flake on us, and, you know, if he didn't want to come, he could have told us, but all I could think about, well, yeah, all I could think about is, what if he was trying to trap me? What if he was really trying to ambush me, and if I wasn't alone and my friend wasn't with me, what would have happened? Would I have seen his white Mustang? Would he have been in a different car and tried to kidnap me or something? I wasn't at my, you know, fullest capabilities being impaired at that moment under the influence, but I'm still finding it very strange as to how my life probably could have been ended at that moment or something bad could happen to me it's really creepy to think about um i keep thinking about it all the time later on that night i tried to message him again saying hey man thanks for flaking message didn't go through at all this time. 
Now I knew definitely that I was blocked. He had blocked me. I'm not blocked from his social medias, but he had blocked me from Snapchat. And I haven't heard from him since. It's still, still very creepy. I still think about sometimes sending him a message on Instagram or all, any of those other social medias saying, hey, why'd you flake, man? But it, it's just really creepy. <laughs> That is my story. This is a personal story from me. All right, you guys. How did you uh, think I did on this horror telling story for you guys? Was it creepy? Did you enjoy it? If you did, please leave a like. And let me know if I should do more. If you do, you can go ahead and submit some of your own, and I'll read them. And um, I can try to make this a thing on this channel. So let me know what you think. And thank you very much. And everybody have a good day.